Good evening, everyone, and thanks uh, again so very much for joining me again, uh, fellow liquor lovers. Uh, today's review is a, actually a, a bit of a uh, departure from the norm. Um, thus far, we've really been discussing um, spirits, um, liquors in, the, in their pure form, you know, whether it be rum, vodka, uh, whiskeys, um, bourbons, you name it. You know, we've really stuck to the, the pure essence uh, of the spirit and, and and reviewed that spirit for what it was. We did just recently touch upon liqueurs, but as a more of an introduction about uh, what a liqueur, or what consisted, uh, or what a, cons a liqueur consisted of, excuse me, and, and really just gave you a few examples, but didn't really uh, delve into each one specifically. Uh, in that same vein, I've also not been shy about the fact that I'm human. Uh, I am able, uh, or I am um, uh, at times, like most consumers, you know, we get caught up. That's kind of what happened here. Um, so tonight's review is a product called 20 Grand Vodka Infused with Cognac. So I guess, I guess you'd call that a liqueur. Um, no, I guess not because there's no sugar added to this. It's just a bottled mixture, basically. So I, I don't really know what it's called. Um, long story short, I'm walking through the liquor store and I, and, I, and I saw it and it was presented very nice. It almost has the bottle style that you see in your Ronza Kappa XO or even your Crown Royal XR. Um, you know, nice gold topper, nice cork, kind of a cool streamlined edging shape. And the story behind it was cool. Not the story, but the, you know, the actual product was cool. Plus, you know, 25 bucks. I thought that'd be a cool addition. So I decided to pick it up. So we will uh, keep, keep this as relatively short and sweet as we can, but want to give you a little bit of backstory. Um, also, while we're in um, uh, backstory mode, see this hat? This is a 1954 Cleveland Indians hat. And uh, what made me decide to wear this tonight was I got a chance to take a look at one of my old Crown Royal reviews and was just kind of spouting off at the mouth. And noticed that in that review, um, I had an Expos hat on. And uh, I said that they were my favorite, they used to be my favorite team. They've never been my favorite team. I'm, I'm a Cleveland guy, born and raised. Tribe's always been my favorite team, so I had to represent uh, tonight. So that's the story behind the hat. Um, and the reason that I was look, I don't just sit around watching myself, believe it or not, but Every time I post to one of your guys' or respond to one of your posts, I get in there and start commenting and it just automatically pulls up. And I heard myself say that and I said, I, I got to wear a tribe hat next time I review a spirit. So uh, let's get right into this. I'm just going to go ahead and drink this out of a, uh, of a rum glass. It's an Appleton rum glass. I mean, let's not go overboard. This is this is vodka with cognac in it. I mean, I'm not going to. I'm not going to go crazy with how I drink this. But I'm kind of excited, to be honest with you, because I haven't had anything like this. So uh, this could be fun. So let's crack into this. And like I said, right off the top, I think the, uh, the topper is, is, is nice and very neat. And uh, that's cool. That's cool. This company also does a... Um, sorry, I'm getting glare. They also do a black version, which is 90 proof, opposed to this being 80 proof. And they do a, what they call a rose version which is a liqueur, they add rose flavored sweetness. It's obviously intended for, for women. Okay, here we go. Always a fun sound. Also, not only is that a cool sound, that's a sign of a pretty decent cork. You don't want, you know, you don't like the, um, you shouldn't like the metal tops because they expand and contract and your seal is never, never good after you initially open it. So for something you're going to have around for a long time, um, corks are definitely the way to go. In that same vein, a little teaser for you. Next time we get together, I'm going to actually review a um, spirits uh, preserver, if you will. And maybe a product you may want to pick up for some of your high-end spirits. So tune in for that. <clears throat> okay, let's jump right into this. Love that sound too. Now I honestly, it, oftentimes I go into these having either have already tasted the spirit 
That's, I tell you what, that's cool. It's a good fit on top there. Um, having already tasted the spirit or having some sort of, um, um, ooh, that was a big pour. Uh, having some sort of preconceived notion, I'm going into this one completely 100% open-minded. So uh, let's give this a shot. Uh, Color-wise, you know what comes to mind when I look at this? Apple juice. It's just kind of that clean, yellow, golden, you know, some hues of dark gold, amber in there. Um, but yeah, it looks like apple juice. On the nose. Wow. I, I mean, I guess, I guess it smells like vodka with cognac in it. I don't know what that smells like, but I'm, I guess I'm picking those two senses up. Here goes nothing. Late burn. I'm, um, huh, that's unusual. As you know, I have a um, relatively refined palate and, and, I, and I know my way around a liquor cabinet. Uh, but off the top, in the cheek area and the tongue area, you're met immediately with mellowness and butteriness and um, creaminess, not aggressive notes. As you swallow, you're hit with intense heat down through your esophagus and then into your stomach. It's not like a bourbon where you kind of just feel it here. You feel it here and then around your stomach when it hits. And it's extreme heat. It's not necessarily a pleasant heat. Hmm. The viscosity isn't, there it goes, Ooh. the viscosity isn't something that I like. I mean, huge slow legs on this glass. I mean, you can see those slowly creeping down. It seems artificial to me. It seems that there's an additive or two in there because the, the butteriness of it is overwhelming and I... I have a hard time thinking they, they used something that would naturally create that. that. I mean, it's the amazing thing about spirits, good spirits are the subtleties in the, in the, the palate and the, the, the refining of the palate. This one just kind of seems to whack you with it, um, but it is extremely, a bit of saltiness, a bit of caramel butterscotch. Uh, you t I think the burn, quite frankly, is with cheap spirits, you, you get more of a burn. And uh, let's not kid ourselves. If they're using cognac and vodka and it's a $25 bottle, it's not top-end stuff. And I took a pretty big swig, but it is a hybrid, though. I, I, I do see both characteristics of both spirits. And I would, I would recommend this highly with rocks. I think with rocks, this would be very, very nice. I wouldn't feel guilty about adding it. it I mean, let's, let's be honest, it is what it is. It's not, you know, it's not some single malt that you need a baby or use a water dropper with. Um, but I think it would be really nice. I think it would cut the viscosity a bit and, and the cooling, I think, would help with that, with that heat. Um, but uh, overall, I tell you what, I I'm going to go ahead and give this a grade of uh, uh, seven, seven and a half. Um, better than I expected. Um, kind of a fun little product. I'll, I'll, I'll kind of keep it in the corner of the bar as a, uh, as a little novelty. Uh, speaking of, the bar is under construction as we speak. So I will be doing maybe one review more from the, uh, from the great room out here. 
And then after that, we will be uh, we will be doing it from the bar. So I'm very, very excited about that. Can't wait to have you guys join me. And uh, until next time, glasses up and see you soon.